thanks to the organizers, and it's uh, a pleasure to be here. So I, I would like to talk about um, some congruence properties of uh, endoclasses, the, the same endoclasses uh, uh, that are the ones in uh, the previous talk, and uh, the, the, the consequences of uh, these congruence properties uh, for the, for the uh, local uh, Jacques Langlands uh, correspondence. So this is uh, um, a work uh, joined with uh, Sean Stevens. <coughs> Uh, first, let me fix uh, some notation. So, uh, as in the previous talk, F is a, uh, a non Archimedean <coughs> locally compact field of residue characteristic uh, P. Uh, H will be the general linear group GLN F for some n uh, and G will be uh, an inner form uh, of H. So this is a group of the form GLM of D where D is a, a central uh, division F algebra uh, of uh, reduced degree D uh, with uh, uh, M D uh, equal to N. And um, so uh, I will denote by D uh, of G or DC uh, of G if I want to insist on the fact that I uh, will consider complex representations. Uh, uh, D of G is uh, the, the discrete series uh, of G. So this is um, uh, the, the set uh, uh, up to uh, so the set of uh, isomorphism classes of um, um of uh, essentially a square integrable uh, smooth complex representations of uh, the group G. And uh, there is a canonical bijection, the, so the Jacques Langlands correspondence. Uh, between D C of G and D uh, C of H, which I will denote like this <coughs> with a superscript J L. Uh, and, and this uh, this correspondence is uh, characterized by uh, a character uh, identity uh, at uh, elliptic regular conjugacy classes uh, in G and H. Uh, so, uh, okay. um, uh, what does uh, an essentially square integrable representation uh, looks like more uh, more precisely? Uh, given uh, pi in uh, the uh, discrete series uh, of G, uh, there is a, a, a unique integer R dividing M uh, and a unique uh, up to uh, isomorphism, uh, a unique um, uh, cuspidal irreducible representation uh, rho uh, of uh, G L M over R of D such that uh, pi is uh, is uh, the uh, unique irreducible uh, quotient 
of uh, the following uh, 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 parabolically induced representation. So, uh, uh, parabolic induction here is, uh, is uh, uh, normalized in the usual way. Uh, so uh, quotient of the parabolic induction to G of uh, rho tensor rho uh, twisted by the um, unramified character given by the uh, uh, absolute value of the reduced norm uh, to uh, the power of uh, some integer s of rho uh, uh, depending uh, on rho tensor and um, r times and the last uh, factor is rho twisted by the absolute value of the reduced norm to the power of s of rho times r minus 1. So where uh, s of rho so is a, it is a, a, a positive uh, integer uh, attached to rho, uh, uh, which uh, divides uh, d and is um, a prime to, uh, to m. So in particular, if, uh, if G is split, uh, if G is equal to, to H, uh, D is 1. So this uh, positive integer S of rho uh, the is always equal to 1. So you, 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 you do not see it. Um, OK, so uh, this uh, gives you, so in this, uh, so R and uh, rho are uh, uniquely uh, uh, determined by pi, and so uh, in this situation, I will write pi equals delta of rho r. And I will also write s of pi equals s of rho. So this, this classification of, uh, of discrete series uh, representation goes back to, to Bernstein and Zelevinsky in the, in, in the split case, where, when g is, is split. And, and, and to Tadic in the, in, the, in the case of an inner form. Um, okay, so now look at the Jacquet Langlands transfer pi JL of, of pi. It is also uh, a discrete series uh, representation for uh, the uh, split group H. And so, uh, according to this uh, classification, uh, it can be written uniquely as delta of sigma T. Uh, for some uh, t uh, dividing n and sigma, a cuspidal representation of g l n over t of f. And uh, so we have we have two pairs. Uh, we have uh, rho r on the one hand and the pair sigma t on the other hand. And between the two integers r and t, we have the uh, following relation. t is equal to r times uh, s, of, uh, s of p. And then natural problem is uh, uh, um, uh, what is the relation uh, between rho and sigma? Or, uh, compare uh, rho and and sigma. How can you compare? How can uh, one compare uh, rho and sigma? Um, uh, for this, uh, we use um, uh, Bushnell. So there, there is a. Uh, there is a, a, a description of cuspidal representations of, of uh, uh, GLN and uh, um, give uh, by, by compact induction, uh, so um, uh, which is given by uh, bushnell kutzko's uh, theory of types. So, uh, uh, so for. So for H, for, for, for G 
L n f. This goes back to Bushnell and Kutzko, and uh, uh, the the same uh, the same works for inner forms of uh, G L N N F. It uh, uh, generalizes uh, this uh, description of cuspidal representations uh, uh, given by Bushnell and Kutzko. It has been generalized by Brousseau. Graditz, uh, Sean Stevens, and I. Uh, <coughs> uh, in particular, So I will I will not uh, I, I will not um, uh, I, I will not say anything uh, specific about about type theory about this type theoretic description of cuspidal representations. Um, um, but so in the previous talk, uh, uh, Bushnell had, uh, introduced the notion of uh, endoclass and. Um, uh, so, to any cuspidal representation of uh, GLNF, uh, one can associate an underclass. And uh, the same work uh, for inner forms uh, of, uh, of GLN. So to any uh, cuspidal irreducible uh, representation uh, uh, pi uh, of, uh, of an. an uh, group uh, G, uh, one can associate uh, an endoclass uh, denoted theta <coughs> theta pi. And uh, so the I go back to this uh, to this question. Compare rho and sigma. Rho and sigma are uh, two cuspidal representations, but for uh, for different groups and, uh, and uh, for different groups which do not even need to be uh, inner forms of, uh, uh, of of each other. So uh, how uh, how can one compare them? So uh, uh, the uh, interest of uh, uh, looking at the endoclass is that the uh, endoclasses are, uh, um, uh, are the, the set of all endoclasses uh, is the same for uh, for all general linear groups uh, GLN and their uh, their, uh, their inner forms. So. Uh, 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 one can ask the more, uh, the more precise, more specific question, um, uh, compare the endoclass of rho uh, and uh, with the endoclass of sigma. And the, 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 the answer to th this question is easy to, to, to state. Uh, uh, the comparison is uh, as uh, simple as possible. Uh, rho and sigma have have the same endoclass. So <coughs> the comparison is easy to state. It is an equality, uh, but the the, the proof uh, of this is. Uh, is uh, uh, more difficult uh, to state uh, due to the very technical definition of, of uh, endoclasses. And so it's, uh, the proof uh, of this result uh, uh, appeals uh, unexpectedly uh, to the theory of modular representations of, of GLN and, uh, and its uh, inner forms, uh, as well as the congruence properties of the local jacques langlands correspondence. So, uh, in uh, in this talk, uh, uh, I would like to, to, to show you how to how to use 
uh, modular uh, representation theory in order to prove uh, a result about complex, uh, complex representations. <coughs> so more So more precisely, the, the, the statement whose proof uh, requires uh, uh, modular, uh, uh, modular techniques is uh, the, follow the following one, uh, uh, which will imply, uh, which, comes, which comes before uh, this one. Uh, so let pi and pi prime be two uh, complex discrete series representations of G, uh, then uh, pi and pi prime have the same endoclass. So I did not uh, say how to associate an endoclass to, uh, to a discrete series representation, but so if pi is a discrete series representation, you can write it delta of rho r and then by definition the endoclass of pi will be by definition will be the endoclass of the cuspidal representation rho so pi and pi prime have the same endoclass uh, if and only if uh, the same is true of their uh, Jacques Langlands transfer. And so uh, I <coughs> uh, so I would like to, uh, so to to explain this uh, this uh, this <coughs> second uh, second statement. Uh, starting uh, with, uh, um, uh, as, an, uh, as an example, uh, with the finite field case. So, in this first part, uh, uh, I will uh, change uh, uh, temporarily the notation, and G will be the finite group GLN of some finite field uh, FQ of cardinality Q. And I will say that uh, two uh, irreducible representation, uh, so irreducible complex representations uh, of G uh, are uh, Arish Chandra equivalent, we'll uh, write just HC equivalent, if uh, they uh, both occur uh, as components of uh, the same parabolically uh, induced representation and yes of, uh, uh, for some for some irreducible representation to uh, of uh, some Yes, well, so where uh, M is some Levy subgroup of G. So this is, uh, uh, it is well known that this is an equivalence relation and this, uh, decomp uh, this decomposes uh, the set of irreducible representations of G into Arish-Chandra series. 
So if you prefer, the two irreducible representations of G uh, are uh, Arishandra equivalent if and only if uh, they have uh, the same cuspidal support. Okay. So now, now replace, uh, 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 fix a prime number L different from P. So fix a prime L different from P, uh, unlike uh, yesterday afternoon. And uh, consider, rather than complex representation, consider uh, uh, representations with uh, coefficients uh, in FL bar, uh, uh, given algebraic closure uh, of a finite field of characteristic L. Uh, so in the setting of uh, uh, mod L representations, uh, you still have uh, uh, Arishandra induction, or parabolic induction, and uh, so the notion, the definition of uh, Arishandra equivalence uh, still, uh, still makes sense. Uh, but uh, it is uh, much, uh, mo uh, much uh, less obvious it is not obvious at all that it is an equivalence relation. And it is the, 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 the so we have the following uh, non-trivial result, which is due to Richard Deeper and Gordon James, uh, which tells you precisely that uh, Arishandra equivalence on the set of uh, FL bar irreducible representations of G is an equivalence relation. And since you have an equivalence relation, uh, you can, uh, this uh, decomposes, this decomposes uh, the set of mod L irreducible representations of G into, again, Arishandra series. Okay, so now consider Eladic representations of G. So representations with coefficients in QL bar, uh, a fixed algebraic closure of the field of eladic numbers. Okay. So uh, consider pi, uh, uh, a QL bar representation of G on a, a QL bar vector space V. So since G is finite, uh, G uh, stabilizes uh, some ZL bar lattice L in, in V. So L is, is such an L is not unique, but there is at least one. Uh, and if you reduce L this lattice mod L, you get a finite length FL bar representation. So this is a finite length uh, FL bar representation uh, of G. Such a representation does depend on the choice of the lattice, but if you consider the semi-simplification of this reduction mod L, it does not depend anymore on the choice of L. So it is independent of L, it only depends on the representation pi you started with, and so it is denoted RL of pi, uh, so, uh, so the, uh, which is the, uh, by definition the reduction mod L uh, of pi. Okay.
And now I can <coughs> formulate my first definition. definition uh, to irreducible complex representations uh, pi pi prime of G are said to be one linked if Uh, if there exists a prime number L different from P, um, and uh, a field isomorphism I between C and QL bar, So of course it is a field. Uh, yeah, it is a uh, it is a field isomorphism, uh, not not a topological field isomorphism, uh, such that such that uh, such that uh, if you look at the reduction mod L of pi, well not pi but i star pi, so the the pi but with uh, the field of complex numbers replaced by QL bar by using this isomorphism. And if you do the same for pi prime, you look at the reduction mod L of i star pi prime. Uh, these, so the uh, pi and pi prime uh, are said to be one linked if these two semi-simple representations have uh, all their uh, irreducible components in the same Harish Chandra series. Okay. Uh, so two remarks. First remark, uh, this definition uh, does not depend on the choice of the field isomorphism. And the second remark is that uh, uh, this, uh, the, the fact of being one linked, uh, it, is, uh, it is an uh, equivalence uh, relation, which is, so this is, an equivalence, uh, no, sorry, it is not an equivalence relation. Um, <coughs> but this is, uh, this is uh, weaker than uh, both being uh, in the same Arish Chandra uh, series uh, of here C uh, G and being congruent mod L. Being congruent mod L meaning that the reductions mod L are equal or isomorphic. Now we have the following second definition. So being being one linked Uh, is not an equivalence relation, uh, but uh, you can uh, define the um, because it, it is not uh, it is not transitive in general. But now let us introduce the following definition. So two irreducible representations pi and pi prime. So irreducible complex representations of G uh, are said to be linked if uh, there are 
uh, a finite family of irreducible representations. So pi 0 is pi, then pi 1, pi 2, etc., until pi r, the last one, which is pi prime, with pi i complex irreducible, such that for all i, pi i and pi i plus 1 are one linked. And so, of course, at each step, uh, the prime number that uh, you use may vary. And now, and now, uh, this is now you get you get an equivalence. Uh, you get an equivalence relation. So being linked is an is transitive. So is an equivalence uh, relation. So an equivalence relation on the set of complex irreducible representations of G. So we have defined an equivalence relation, so it is natural uh, to determine the equivalence classes of this equivalence relation. Uh, so what are the equivalence classes? Well, the, the answer is easy to state, and it is also not difficult to prove. Uh, any two irreducible representation of G are linked. So this is not very exciting. We, we, have, uh, we have defined an, an equivalence relation that it turns out to be the tri a trivial equivalence relation. Uh, any two irreducible representation of G are linked. Uh, but uh, it will uh, start uh, being more uh, interesting uh, uh, once we pass from the finite field case to the periodic case. And this is what I'm uh, going to do now. So second part, now we go back to the periodic case. And so we go back to G equals an inner form of a periodic uh, GLN group. Uh, so of course, we have normalized uh, parabolic induction uh, and uh, uh, in instead of uh, uh, Arish Chandra equivalence, uh, we can define uh, Bernstein equivalence. Uh, so uh, two irreducible uh, represent uh, complex irreducible representations of G are Bernstein equivalent if uh, pi uh, occurs uh, as a component of some uh, parabolically induced representation from some Levy M uh, to G of some uh, irreducible representation to of M and pi prime occurs as a component of not exactly the, s the same uh, parabolically induced representation, but uh, you uh, allow tau to be twisted by some, uh, by some uh, unramified character, chi of m. And again, uh, it is well known that uh, this uh, uh, Bernstein equivalence is an equivalence relation, and uh, in other words, uh, it, uh, it amounts to saying that pi and pi prime have the same, uh, uh, that their uh, cuspidal support uh, have the, uh, are inertially equivalent. Okay. 
And this way, we can decompose uh, here uh, C of G into uh, Bernstein blocks. Okay. <coughs> so now, uh, go back to an L modular setting. So again, fix a prime L different from P and uh, consider FL bar representations of the periodic group uh, G. We still have normalized parabolic induction. Uh, so we can uh, extend this definition of Bernstein uh, equivalence. And uh, the, the theorem, uh, uh, which in the PEDIC case, uh, which corresponds to the Deeper and James theorem uh, in the finite field case, is uh, the following one. Which is due to Vineras in the in, in when G is split and uh, is uh, extended to the uh, non-split case by uh, Alberto Mingus and I. Uh, so it tells you that uh, so Bernstein equivalence uh, on the set of L modular irreducible representations of G is an uh, equivalence relation. In other words, uh, in the modular setting, uh, uh, in the L modular setting, there is a notion of supercuspidal support. So be careful because in the modular setting, there is a difference between cuspidal and supercuspidal. There is a notion of supercuspidal support. And, uh, roughly speaking, in other words, this theorem amounts to saying that uh, for representation of an inner form of GLN, the supercuspidal support is unique, uh, up to, uh, to conjugacy is unique. Uh, is unique, and uh, so this allows one so to decompose here FL bar G so decomposes into uh, Bernstein blocks. So this looks very much uh, the same as in the complex case, but uh, be careful. Uh, this, this theorem, which holds for GLN and uh, its inner forms, uh, so that is the uniqueness, the uniqueness of the uh, supercuspidal support, or at least up to uh, inertia, uh, it does, in the modular setting, it does not hold in general for a general uh, PID group. So careful, uh, uniqueness uh, of so inertial, even up to uh, inertia, uniqueness of supercuspidal support does not hold uh, for uh, L modular representation of periodic reductive groups in general. And there are explicit counterexamples. And in order to find a counterexample, no, no need to look for, uh, to, to look at an, an exotic, uh, uh, exceptional uh, periodic group. Uh, it is enough to, to look at the symplectic group SP8F uh, with L dividing Q squared plus one, Q being the uh, cardinality of the residue field of F. And for such a symplectic group, there is an example of a cuspidal representation uh, having uh, two uh, different super, uh, non-equivalent supercuspidal supports. 
So this, uh, this already, uh, the, the counter example already works, already uh, shows up in the finite field case. It has been observed by uh, Olivier Duda. And uh, it has been uh, lifted from the finite field case to the periodic case uh, by Jean-François Dott. OK. Uh, and as, uh, so as for the finite case, uh, one can uh, define uh, linked, uh, linked uh, complex representations of, uh, of GLM2. So as, as for the finite field case, one can uh, define uh, linked uh, uh, so representations uh, in the set of complex irreducible representations of G. One has to, to be slightly more careful uh, when manipulating uh, uh, lattices, <coughs> but, uh, but it works. Okay, so uh, and so, so we have a notion of being linked for two complex irreducible representations of the, uh, our periodic group G. And this is uh, an equivalence relation. So same question as in the finite field case, uh, we have an equivalence relation. Uh, what are the equivalence uh, classes? Uh, so now, uh, now this is interesting. The, 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 this equivalence relation is no longer uh, the uh, trivial uh, uh, equivalence relation. And uh, so we have the following theorem. Uh, so I, uh, I, I will state it for discrete series representation because this is uh, the case uh, uh, which is, uh, which is uh, interesting for the uh, when I will uh, talk about the uh, local Jacquel Anglans uh, correspondence later, but there is a more general statement for any reducible representation, uh, but which requires uh, slightly more notation. So suppose pi and pi prime are complex discrete series representations of G, then pi and pi prime are linked if and only if they have the same endoclass. So in other words, the uh, equivalence classes uh, for this uh, equivalence relation, at least when you look at discrete series representation, the equivalence classes are parametrized by, uh, by endoclasses. Uh, so there is, there is an easy way uh, when, uh, when if two representations are one linked, uh, they clearly have the same endoclass. And so two linked representations must have the same endoclass. The uh, non-obvious and uh, unexpected uh, way is that uh, the converse holds. Okay, uh, what does this uh, have to do with uh, our initial problem? Uh, so this, uh, this is this theorem is relevant to our initial problem because of the following result uh, due to Minga's and I. Uh, so let pi and pi prime, as usual, be complex discrete series uh, representations of G. Uh, then uh, pi pi prime are linked if and only if 
the same holds for the Jacquel Anglans transfers. Uh, <coughs> so, of course, the first step is to prove this for uh, one linked, but and by transitivity, uh, it uh, uh, propagates to. Uh, to linked. And so this is what I called in the introduction the uh, congruence properties of the Jacquel Anglans, the local Jacquel Anglans uh, correspondence. And roughly speaking, the local Jacquel Anglans correspondence uh, uh, preserves uh, the relation of uh, congruence mod uh, any prime number different from p. Okay, so what does it tell you? If you put together this theorem with this one, it tells you that given any discrete series representation of G, uh, the end of the class of the Jacques Langlands transfer of pi uh, only does not really depends on pi, but it only depends on the endo class of pi. And even better, in, in some sense, uh, in some sense, uh, it does not depend on the integer n. So what does that mean? It means that so first, given, so instead of starting with a discrete series representation, I start with an underclass. Given theta and underclass, uh, and uh, pi any uh, discrete series representation uh, of uh, G L M D. Uh, having endoclass of endoclass theta for any m, uh, then uh, the endoclass uh, of the Jacques Langlands transfer of pi only depends on the theta you started with. And I denote it theta JL. And <coughs> second part, so what does it give you? So you get you get uh, a map which turns out, to which one can prove is bijective, a bijective map, uh, uh, theta goes to theta j, j l from the set of endoclasses over f to itself. And so, uh, uh, one, one wants so uh, the f one wants to prove that this bijective map is the identity, and uh, so in order to compute uh, theta j l for uh, any uh, theta, uh, the uh, uh, the idea is that. It suffices to compute uh, the endoclass of uh, pi uh, j l for a well chosen uh, pi uh, of uh, endoclass theta uh, uh, for some uh, well-chosen GLM D. 
Alors, more precisely, for GLMD, for some well chosen M. You, you, want, you, you, you want to be able to vary M, but not, not the division algebra. The, 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 uh, the, the division algebra uh, remains constant. <coughs> okay. Uh, so, well chosen, what does this mean? I can be more precise. How much do I have? 10 minutes? Okay. Um, <coughs> So, so well chosen, what does it mean? <coughs> so, this means first that given an endo class theta, choose uh, pi to be a cuspidal uh, uh, representation of GLMD with endoclass theta uh, and uh, such that the Jacquet Langlands transfer of pi is also cuspidal. And you see here, so for some m, for the moment I do not, uh, I do not specify m. Uh, for the moment m is arbitrary, but not completely arbitrary because uh, it, it uh, has to be large enough so that such a cuspidal representation pi exists. <coughs> but if m is large enough, uh, it is a, a pi, uh, such a pi always exists. Okay. Uh, so pi cuspidal, such that its uh, Jacques Langlands transfer is also cuspidal, it is important. Uh, so associated with pi, uh, there is a, a finite unramified extension k over f uh, of degree t, t or t of pi, the torsion number of pi, that is the number of unramified characters such that pi twisted by k uh, remains uh, isomorphic to pi. And uh, I assume that I have fixed uh, um, an embedding of f algebras of uh, this uh, uh, f extension k into uh, the, the simple algebra mm of d and also into uh, mn, m, md of f. And such uh, embeddings are uh, uniquely determined up to conjugacy. Now consider the following diagram. So this is the map I have defined uh, uh, earlier, somewhere here. And <laughs> you also have the set E of k of uh, endo classes over k. And uh, of course, you also have so uh, uh, Jacques Langlands map. So I will denote it GL sub K and this one GL JL uh, sub F. And there is a, uh, there is a vertical map uh, which is surjective, uh, which has been defined by Bushnell and Enyar, and which is called the uh, restriction map, restriction from K to F. So uh, res k on f is uh, the uh, bushnell Yards restriction map.
so from there, uh, following uh, Bushnell and Yar's uh, analysis of uh, the trace of the cuspidal representation pi at uh, certain well chosen elliptic regular conjugacy classes of, uh, of G, GLM D, uh, in terms of uh, types, type theory. Uh, one can prove one can prove that uh, theta JL uh, can be computed as follows. So you, you look at the following the di diagram there, can be computed as the restriction of uh, psi. So here this is JLF, the restriction of psi JL. K for any endoclass psi in uh, above uh, above uh, theta. <coughs> so here you start you start with a theta here. You have theta. It's transfer theta J L there. You choose any lift psi of theta and theta JL is given by doing this. And now it remains to explain what well chosen M means. Uh, yeah, so first, uh, first, uh, let rho be a cuspidal representation of endoclass uh, psi uh, of uh, jk, the centralizer of k times in G uh, and uh, such that rho, its transfer rho J L K is a cuspidal of uh, of by definition of endoclass psi J L K uh, of the group uh, H K, which is the centralizer of K times in uh, H. And now, uh, Doto's idea is to use uh, the flexibility we have on the choice of M and to choose M uh, large enough. So large enough, uh, I think that D divides M should be enough. Uh, so such that uh, the centralizers GK and HK are isomorphic. And if they are isomorphic, then the Jacques Langlands correspondence between these two uh, inner forms, these two isomorphic inner forms, should be trivial. And if the Jacques Langlands correspondence between these two is trivial, it, may, it does nothing at the level of endoclasses. So, uh, more precisely, so, uh, uh, ident so it is possible to identify these, uh, to fix an isomorphism, to identify these two uh, centralizers such that, uh, such that uh, the Jacquet Langlands transfer of rho is 
uh, equal to rho, uh, which implies at the level of underclasses that psi jlk is equal to psi. And if you apply this formula, if you apply this formula, this implies that theta jl is equal to theta, and we are done. Thank you. Any questions? Is it difficult to say what linked means in general? In general for arbitrary irreducible representations? Ah, in terms of underclasses, you mean? No, I mean yeah. whatever terms, I don't know. Uh, um, yes, so, I, yes, uh, to, so you have to, so I, I, in order to, yes, to generalize the, the theorem I've stated for discrete series representation to any reducible representation, you just need to slightly generalize the, uh, the notion of underclass, uh, so it, uh, to define a semi-simple underclass, so roughly speaking, uh, if you start with an irreducible representation, you look at its cuspidal support and its, uh, its uh, semi-simple underclass will be a linear combination of the underclasses of the cuspidal representations occurring in the cuspidal support uh, uh, with, uh, with some, uh, some weight. So, um, so no, it is so it, no, it is not difficult to to generalize to to any reducible representation. Uh, could you please explain a bit more about the counterexample for the non-uniqueness of the? <laughs> uh, <coughs> so I, I can I cannot explain, uh, but I, I can give uh, I can give more detail because the explain the, the the proof the proof is that. Uh, you, you look at tables uh, giving the decomposition matrices of uh, prin some principal incomposable modules. And uh, if you look at the tables carefully, uh, you will see that you have a counterexample. So I but I can be more precise. Uh, so um, for uh, SP8 uh, Q, when L divides Q square plus one. Um, there is a uh, cuspidal irreducible uh, representation pi uh, occurring uh, occurring as a component of <coughs> so first. Uh, first, it occurs in the parabolic induction, so this one I call it G. I, it occurs in the parabolic induction of the trivial character of the split torus uh, F Q times to the 4 in G. And it also occurs uh, as a component of the following uh, parabolically induced representation and L, G. Uh, so here L is the Levy uh, GL, uh, is the Levy SP4 times GL1 twice. And the, the, the representation you induce is theta 10, which is a supercuspidal representation of SP4, theta 10 times trivial times trivial. And so you see that the, the Levy subgroups you, you induce form are far from being uh, conjugate. Um, and I I, 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 I can say no more. Yeah, so you, you uh, some tables have been computed uh, uh, by, by Olivier Duda, I think, and, uh, and uh, 
if you interpret them in terms of uh, uh, what uh, supercuspidal super support means, it tells you that. I have a question. Uh, so, being link uh, makes sense uh, for any other reductive group. Do you know what is the the relation the the class? No, because no, because uh, uh, in order to define uh, that being linked or one linked, uh, we need to know that uh, Arish Chandra equivalence uh, is uh, an equivalence relation in the modular setting. So, but yes, it is it is uh, it is a not for a general uh, uh, finite reductive group, it is a uh, uh, it is natural question. Uh, how how should the definition of being linked? Uh, how should it be modified uh, so that it so that it makes sense and uh, and so that it is interesting? Other questions? Okay, then let's uh, thank. Uh, Thank you.